Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take the wheel that we modeled in our part studio and use the pattern tools so that inside the part studio we have all four of them since we can do that pretty easily. Again, we're going to do an assembly later, so I'm not sure yet why we would care to do this other than maybe visually seeing them all. I'm not sure. Um, maybe they're, I don't know, I'm speculating, but let's go ahead and do it and um, we, could, we could speculate at the end too a little bit. So first off, I'm going to use this pattern tool. I'm going to use the linear pattern tool and I'm going to, I'm on a part pattern. So that's good because there is other options like features or faces. So I want to model or a pattern the whole part. So this wheel is going to get selected and then the direction, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to get a edge that's horizontal there along the body and I can see it illustrating here a preview bringing it forward so I'm going to switch the direction and then I need to know the distance between these holes and that was three and a half inches so I'm going to update that and there you go it's lined up it looks good I've got a, a second wheel in its spot um, and this is on new as opposed to add so yes it's going to create a new part so I'm going to accept that um, my guess is that now I would have the ability to go make changes to this part you know, maybe I want to pattern apart because they're like very similar, but I'm going to tweak something. And in our case, we're not going to tweak anything. We're going to leave them identical. Um, so maybe we wouldn't do this. But here I think I have the opportunity to come in and start changing and affecting only that part and not the whole wheel. Okay, but I don't have to start from scratch again. So that could be. And in Inventor, we'd probably just do like a, right, a save as to make a copy and then start from there. Um, all right, so... Um, now I'm going to get these two and mirror them to the other side. So to mirror them, I need a plane right down the middle. So I'm going to go to my plane tool, and there is a mid plane. I do know the distance to get to the middle, but let's go ahead and choose mid plane. So all I'm going to do is choose the two sides, and by doing that, it's going to create a plane right down the middle for me. And now I can use, um, instead of the linear pattern tool, right next to it is the mirror tool. So I'm going to mirror. And again, there's options like do I want to mirror parts or features, etc. So we're going to mirror parts. And it's going to be both of the wheels at the same time. So I'm going to select them both. They both get listed. Now I need to choose the mirror plane. So I'm going to select that box before I select the plane. And it defaults to add, which means it's going to take those parts and make them become part of, in this case, the train body. And the first time I did this real quick, I clicked the green check real fast, and all four wheels became one with the the body. So I lost my wheel. So I don't want that. So I want to keep it on new. So I'm getting new parts, and then I'm going to accept that. And let's see, did it create three new parts? In the end, I've got one wheel plus three more. So there you go. So that's just a quick optional way um, within the part studio to show each individual piece, you know, have an iteration for all of them, even if some of them are going to be the same. So there you go.